Hi guys and welcome to The Chill where we have insightful conversations that inform, inspire and encourage you to chart your path. Our guest today is George Evans, a former research analyst from Cyton Investments. He's going to be here to tell us what a journey in Cyton looks like for such a unique individual. Welcome George to the show. Do you know why you're here? Yeah, at least you've briefed me about that. Okay. Tell us what you were doing before you came to Cyton. So before Cyton, uh, I wasn't an employee. I used to do business of my own. I used to do, uh, I used to be a cyber attendant. So I used to, uh, in addition to being at the cyber, I also used to do small business. That is uh, supplying stationery to offices and schools. Sometimes uh, doing a lot of uh, supplies to spare parts shops. Yeah, and all that. So I was generally a hustler. Alikua, it's like Ruto. So then you decided you're not trying to hustle anymore and get into corporate world or how did you bump into Cyton? It was uh, me getting into Cyton was by chance. It was out of sheer luck. I, when I was applying for the position, it wasn't like a, an intention. Like I now want to stop, stop all this hustling and go to the corporate world. It was, I was just trying out my luck. Yeah. But you mentioned that you reached a point in your life where your bills were... Your life bills were greater than, what did you say? My earnings. Yeah. yeah business wasn't good doing uh, that well when I was coming to Cyton because uh, it's it's something that I already started before, I mean, during campus, the small businesses. So by the time I left school, yeah, I was shocked that uh, you have to foot all your bills, your rent, utility bills, all that. So it reached <laughs> a point where by all my profits, from the farm were eaten into by the utility bill. So it was, the business wasn't, wasn't growing as much as I wanted it to. In short, he was making very little profit because he was probably making a hundred shillings of profit <laughs> and trying to pay rent for, I don't know, 5,000. When you joined Cyton, what was your experience like? Uh, I would say it was life changing. Uh, to begin with, at least uh, it helped me pay for my November's rent. So in short, before I joined Cyton, I didn't know what I was going to use to pay rent for the, for the other month. But then uh, apart from that, I think uh, Cyton brought out uh, the skill set in me or things that I, I never knew that I could do myself. So I think for that, uh, that's one of the greatest things I ever achieved, knowing at least my full potential or at least my potential. So I'm the one who onboarded this guy to Cyton and he's going to show us the email where it reads uh, dear candidate, blah, 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 you're welcome to Cyton. He joined as a sales and marketing intern. Yes, I did. And I somehow, like I said, he cut corners and he landed in research <laughs> and deal origination in that department. How did that happen? Uh, you didn't say cutting corners. I think it was fate that uh, turned out to work well for me. Uh, when I applied for the position at Cyton, I had uh, applied for a research intern position. So I actually it was real estate intern. So I didn't know that I was coming to do research or sales. What I did is I'm just coming to do an internship related to real estate. But then unfortunately it so happened that uh, I think during the onboarding process, uh, Madam Ashley here happened to yeah mix up the names. And so I got onboarded for a sales and marketing position, which uh, unfortunately, or fortunately enough, got me to idle at the farm for two months uh, as I was waiting for the right uh, internship class to begin. So between no uh, November and December 2015, I was still waiting to join uh, the internship that I wanted, that is real estate internship class, which began in January 2016. He was basically called a master intern. He had a master's degree in internship because he did five months when everyone else was doing three months. Thank you.